Hi, I'm Max. I'm Callum. And I'm Bree. Together we're the Wetland Warriors. Welcome to the Araruku Wetlands. Our goal is for this whole area to be a pest and predator free. We've got heaps of rats in this area. That's why we've set this A24 rat and stoat trap. We've got traps all over the place. This is the rat bait. Ugh, that smells disgusting. The best thing about this trap is that it can do 24 hits without having to reset it. I'm gonna do a test fire. You don't wanna get your fingers caught in there. Hopefully once we got rid of the rats, we'll get even more bird life to come here, which is gonna be even more cool. There are heaps of really cool birds that live here. We've got Kawo. Their superpower is diving. They can hold their breath for over a minute when they're underwater. We've also got Putangi Tangi. Their superpower is sticking together forever. You'll always see these birds in pairs. The girl's the one with the white head. And what's cool is that they fall in love and stay together forever. There are Pukeko. Their superpower is sharing family responsibilities. They are cooperative breeders. So a bunch of dads and a bunch of mums all share the same nest. And they all look after the eggs and chicks. And my favourite is the white-faced heron. They flew over here from Australia about 70 years ago. And now they are the most common heron. Their superpower is the ability to eat mice. With their long neck and their sharp beak, they can eat all sorts of stuff. Today I'm picking up rubbish. Plastic is really bad for all the animals. We also plant lots of trees and grasses and stuff. I planted these ones. We want to protect this wetland because it's a very important ecosystem. Wetlands used to be all over New Zealand, but now most of them have been drained. It's sad because wetlands are very special. They provide homes for lots of native species. They also act like a giant sponge, which helps to stop flooding and makes the water nice and clean. Another thing I do is put out these monitoring tunnels. When the rats come in for the peanut butter, they put their feet in the ink and leave tracks for us to see. Here's what it looks like when a rat has been in the ink. And this helps us know how many rats are in this area. If you want to predict wetlands just like us, there's heaps that you can do. Go for a walk in your local wetland and see what animals live there. If you live close to a wetland, put some traps in your backyard. And you can volunteer for your local conservation group and help put native plants in your wetland. Don't forget, we can all be conservation heroes just like us, the Wetland Warriors.